Well, hello guys, this is Rusty Glove Box here, and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna build the generator gas tank. And we're gonna use the Harbor Freight air tank that I bought the other day. Uh, I'm gonna use this on my generator, but you could use this on a doom buggy. You could use it on any other stationary engine that has a remote fuel tank that you want an extended run time. And uh, gonna have an on-off valve at the bottom. So uh, I'll take you through the steps on how I did this. It's pretty easy. Uh, let's just check it well, out. Well, here's the uh, little neck for the fuel tank that I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna run it in about that far, about half this distance, maybe a little further. And uh, in the center, you know, on a regular fuel tank filler neck, they have that little uh, flapper that just receives uh, unleaded fuel. And I thought while I was putting this in here, I'd go ahead and knock that center out so it'd be a large diameter. I used to have an old El Camino and this was the cap that came off it. Uh, originally it was a non-vented tank, but uh, inside the center here there is a little check valve and I drilled a hole through the center of that check valve. Uh, so it should vent okay. The small engine that I'm using has a uh, fuel pump on it, so it should be able to draw fuel through there. I wanted to show you an example why you need a uh, vent in any tank. Uh, what I've got, this is a little water bottle. I've uh, taken a hot paper clip and poked a hole in it below the water line here, and I have the cap on it. So uh, it's kind of creating a vacuum inside the tank. And all I have to do is take the cap off the top of the bottle and then your fluid will transfer on out through the hole. You put the cap back on it and it stops. So that's the importance of uh, being sure and having your tank in it. Well, here's the tank, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this filler neck right about this area. I'm going to leave this handle on there, and I'm going to consider that kind of center line of the tank. And uh, I'll be drilling with a hole saw. Uh, I'm going to cut a hole in there to receive this filler neck. Also, uh, I made this. This is just a little pipe fitting and I took this on the lathe and just made it uh, cylindrical because this is black pipe. Uh, this is a little needle valve, male and female on each side and this is a little quarter inch pipe nipple. This is all uh, quarter pipe thread. And I'll be drilling a hole in the bottom of the tank and I'll be uh, brazing this into the tank also. And what I'll do, I'll take a die grinder and clean that uh, hole up where it'll receive this neck just right. Well, we got the uh, filler neck installed and uh, what we're going to do now is the little outlet I'm going to braze it in.
Well, here's the completed tank. I'll be ready to uh, kind of give that a light sanding and uh, probably spray some yellow paint on here that hopefully I can find something that matches that pretty close. I'm gonna leave the handle on there and this bottom, bottom leg original to the tank. And that way, if I ever do tank, uh, take this tank off, that'll give me a handle to hold on to and maybe a uh, little feet down here on the bottom to help stabilize it when I set it on the ground. So I think that's gonna work out pretty good. So anyway guys, this is part one of uh, I believe what'll be a two-part series here on building the fuel tank for the generator. So uh, as always, I do appreciate you coming by the shop. This is Rusty Glove Box and I'm out of here.